Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Hashim Ali Khan. This is the last and final video on techniques of financial statement analysis. In this video, two more problems I am going to explain you about the common size balance sheet. So far, we have completed all the techniques, comparative, trend analysis, common size, all these things I have explained in detail. So if you have not watched the earlier problems, I suggest you to go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject cost control and management accounting, select the videos of techniques of financial statement analysis, watch the initial videos, be clear about the concept of what are the techniques, how to make comparative, how to make common size, how to make trend analysis, then you can come to this video. Now before starting the 23rd problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which are given in the link under my description. Always keep it ready. Take a screenshot of the solution of 23rd and 24th problem, then I'll explain. See the 23rd problem. From the following balance sheets of Vijay Limited as of 31st March 2017 and 2016. So in the problem, first 17 is given, then 16 is given. But we should take first 16 and then 17. So particulars, we have to prepare a common size balance sheet. No interpretation is asking, only preparation of common size balance sheet. The format is completely given. Equity and liability, shareholders fund, share capital, reserves and surplus, non-current liability, 12% of debentures, current liability, trade payable. The total of the liabilities. Then assets consist of non-current assets, fixed assets, current assets, cash and cash equivalent total. The format is completely given. Amounts are given. So exactly same I have copied here. Vijay Limited common size balance sheet asset. 1617. So two broad columns. 2016, 2017. Two sub columns. Amount percentage, amount percentage. The same format whatever is given in the problem. I have taken the last year's amount, 16, 2016 amounts. In the common size balance sheet, take the total of assets and total of liabilities as the base. So what is the total of the liabilities? 11 lakh. This 11 lakh, I am taking it as 100% base. Take all the values as a percentage on base, on this 11 lakh. So individual values taken in the numerator, denominator 11 lakh. So 2,50,000 divided by 11 lakh into 100, 22.73. 1,50,000 divided by 11 lakh into 100, 13.64. 5 lakh divided by 11 lakh into 100, 45.45. 2 lakh divided by 11 lakh into 100, 18.18. If you add up, you'll get 100. Same case for assets also. The total of liabilities was taken base. Here total assets will also be taken as base because both are same. Assets and liability total are same. So here base 100. So 9 lakh divided by 11 lakh into 100, 81.82. 2 lakh divided by 11 lakh into 100, 18.18. Totally is 100. That's all. This is the common size balance sheet. Same procedure you have to follow for 2017, current year. The current year total liability side 15 lakh. So denominator you take 15 lakh. Numerator you take all individual values. Then you will get all percentages. That's all. This is the end of problem number 23. This is common size balance sheet. Now one more problem I'm going to solve that is 24th problem. See carefully. Prepare common size statement and interpret the result. So again balance sheet is given. So we have to make common size balance sheet as a 31st March 2016 and 20. Same format what we have done in the previous problem. The format is given in the problem. Exactly same I have copied. So first 2016, then 2017. In the problem, first 2017 is given. But we should take first 2016 and 2017. Amount percentage. Amounts are given last year amounts 1,67,250. Then 1,32,750. Exactly same. Now for common size balance sheet, take the total as base. What is the total here? 3 lakh. This 3 lakh 100%. Now this 3 lakh will be taken in the denominator and numerator you take all individual values. So 1 lakh divided by 3 lakh into 100, you will get this. 67,250 divided by 3 lakh into 100, you will get 22.42. Then 1 lakh divided by 3 lakh, 33.33, like this percentage. Same way for assets. 
the total of assets 3 lakh will be taken as base 100 percent then 2 lakh 17 200 divide by 3 lakh into 100 then 80 to 800 divide by 3 lakh into 100 the same procedure you follow for 2017 current year the total of the liabilities are 3 lakh 7 thousand this will be treated as 100 percent take all these values in numerator denominator this one you will get the percentage that's all this is the complete common size balance sheet now it is asking you to give the interpretation also so how to give the interpretation see carefully if you closely observe here there is no change in share capital last year share capital 1 lakh current year share capital 1 lakh debentures last year 1 lakh current year 1 lakh that means during the current year no shares are issued no debentures are issued so your there is no change in share capital and debentures the absolute amounts remain same but the percentage slightly decreased see here 1 lakh 1 lakh percentage 33.33 here 32.57 slightly decreased here 33.33 32.57 slightly decreased now the proportion of current liabilities has decreased whereas proportion of current assets has increased if you compare the current liability and current assets the percentage 10.92 here 7.33 the percentage of current liability has decreased whereas percentage of current assets has increased 27.6 28.40 the current liability has decreased and current assets has increased so the short term liquidity position has improved in 2017 next one in absolute term there is slightly increase in fixed asset but in percentage term slightly decreased fixed assets 217 200 here 219 810 the slight increase in fixed asset but if you go to percentage term 72.4 71.6 slightly decreased the next one the reserves have increased in 2017 indicating there is profitability has improved if you compare the reserves 80 67,250 here 84,500 the absolute terms is increased percentage also increased 22.42 27.52 lastly from the above analysis, it appears that the financial position remains same in both the years. Final conclusion. If you compare the position, financial position of last year and current year, there is no significant change. Only small minor changes are there in the financial position. Both the years, the financial position is same. In this way, you can give the interpretation. So 24 problems have completed on comparative, common size and trend analysis. So I wish you all the best for your preparation of this subject, cost control and management accounting. Inshallah, we'll take up the next uh, I mean, topic, next subject in the next video. So if you're satisfied with my lecture, give a like to the video, share my channel in your group, in your friend circle so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge get a full command on the subject confidence on the subject give the comment on these videos where are you from which country you are from which university you are pursuing your course and lastly don't forget to subscribe my channel if you are not yet subscribed i have started a second channel by name hans accounting institute the link is given in the description visit that channel also i have uploaded so many knowledgeable videos particularly the second channel is meant for igcsc course those who are pursuing Cambridge and Edexcel Pearson course, that channel is very much helpful. But if you want to increase your knowledge, you visit, watch those videos and do subscribe that channel also. Inshallah, I'll continue the next subject in the next video.